A shocking and risky practice. Prophet Litebo Rabalaho spraying doom in the faces of his church members last year, claiming the insecticide would heal the sick. But it triggered a social media storm with some wanting the prophet of doom to face justice. Rabalaho finally reigned in. The first case of its kind before the courts. Judge George Patudi said the pastor was not a scientist and was unaware of the dangers of using toxic chemicals. People went to the front and to be prayed for. And indeed, the broom was prayed to them under the auspices or under the inspiration of the, 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 the spirit. Rabalaho's lawyer still argued that before using the doom, the pastor prayed for it which made it holy. But the court ordered him to stop using the insecticide with legal costs. The court uh, felt that uh, based on the reasons, brief reason that it is given, that uh, it should find uh, in favor of the applicant. And we're very happy that the court has agreed with us that uh, the usage of hazardous, uh, uh, hazardous things in churches from now on are a thing of the past. The provincial health department says some worshippers ended up in hospital. Rabalaho, whose mental state was earlier questioned by the department, declined to comment. His attorneys said there was no evidence that any complainant fell ill. They are still considering whether to appeal. The judgment comes as the CRL Commission is finalizing its report on the commercialization of religion and abuse of people's belief systems. Various dubious self-styled prophets appeared before the Commission. Its final report with recommendations for regulation will be submitted to Parliament by June. Mara Geita Mutabe, SABC News.